want to be able to one shot almost everything in the game want to be able to do this to the most difficult enemies in the game and just walk through them like it was cakewalk well today guys i'm going to present you the best red hood one shot build that's going to have you decimating anything that comes your way this build is so powerful it almost makes it seem like you're cheating even a lot of people that have seen gameplay of me playing it says are you playing this on easy because you're one shotting everything that you're actually shooting today i'm going to tell you guys how to put this build together how to build in case you're lower level than 40 as you're progressing and moving through the story what you should be spending your skills in in addition to that i'm also going to be discussing mods what type of armors you need to look for out for for when you're putting this build together so you guys can optimize this build even further than what i currently have it optimized because i am still farming four different characters of course we will have some videos on the best gear as well so make sure you guys keep it locked here so if this sounds like something you're definitely interested a like would be greatly appreciated if you guys are enjoying our content here on the channel thank you to everyone that has decided to become a member your names are appearing down below you guys are the true heroes thank you for the love and support if you want to become a member hit that join button so with that being said guys let's talk about this build so let's go ahead and get started with the first things we're going to be talking about and that is the abilities now i'm going to be breaking down thinking that you're not even level 40 yet and of course for use more experienced players who are already level 40 you pretty much have this completely leveled up and unfortunately guys you cannot respect in the game the only way you're able to respect is if you start a brand new game plus and if you guys want to do it that way you guys are welcome welcome to but there is only one mistake i made when i was putting my build together but other than that we'll go ahead and dive in it so if you're starting the game guys you're going to want to spend and dump all your points into marksman now i feel like a lot of people play red hood it, it, totally different just because of the context that we had when the game got released we actually thought he was going to be a super tanky character that was going to be brawling and that is not his strong suit his strong suit is actually using the guns and you want to make sure you're using the guns effectively and that is where the marksman uh, tree come, comes into play. Basically, you're going to be picking up everything here that you could possibly get. This is going to give you crit chance. It's going to give you the ability of getting uh, more crit chance, more crit hits. And it's going to be giving you the ability activating this thing called aim time focus. And Red Hood can aim longer to target a deal four times damage. Basically, you want to be fighting from a distance and then closing the gap with your melee weapon when it actually calls upon because you're going to be able to grab those heavy elites and just decimate them really fast so what i would do and suggest is guys make sure you spend your points on marksman and on vengeance that is what you want to spend your points on brawler you can leave it for later but theoretically guys you just want to go marksman and vengeance now as you guys progress and get level 40 you're going to want to go brawler tree but if for some reason you unlock this before you have a chance to go brawler tree you're going to want to spend all your points on these parts right here. So, of course, you're going to get started with this one, which is the traversal. You're going to want to make sure you put this one. So every shot that knocks out a target, it's going to inflict fear. This is extremely important because this is going to multiply the damage you actually shoot on the following person. So knocking down enemies is extremely important with this build because with the fear factor being inflicted that's going to increase the damage you output the next one we have is increased headshots and weak spot damage by 15 percent once again very important we also have increased the number of attacks red hood's range attack combo by one so that's going to allow you to be able to get that last initial hit to be a knockout so once it's a knockout it's going to inflict fear so that's kind of where the synergy is going here we want to be knocking down enemies to inflict fear on them then we also have this one, which is called Mystical Rounds, requires 50 less time to uh, lock on targets. Really important. This is going to actually have you almost not even notice that you're doing this too. It's just, it helps out a lot. And this is just Mystical Rounds, shoots two more rounds. It just, this pretty much decimates anything that's in your way. Uh, the reason why we want to go Vengeance Skill Tree, because since we're going to be fighting a lot of mobs, this is going to give you, uh, you know, 15% critical damage by 5% when you're fighting this particular mobs. So we have, of course, the Regulators. We have the... Um, uh, we have the freaks and we also have the mob uh, we're also going to be picking up this one red hood and his allies inflict increased damage when focused on single targets this is really good because even if you're not playing co-op it's still going to help you out now these two right here i would skip at the current moment if you're not level 30 because these will only unlock until you have the momentum ability that 
it's, it coincides with this and you are going to want to pick this up because we'll talk about it in a little bit uh so if for some reason uh, you don't have this momentum ability you could skip it in the meantime while you work on your points and basically this is what the end goal of your skill tree will look like now the one thing i wish i would have picked up is this right here um this is the only one that i feel like oh, i would have been really cool to actually play with this one but I think overall, in general, I have a really good build. So let's go ahead and talk about this particular ability, uh, momentum ability called Two-Fisted. Basically, what this is going to do, guys, it's going to make you do a ton of damage. Let me just read exactly what it says. After using your Two-Fisted Reload, Red Hood can shoot unlimited rounds for a short period of time. So that means you're going to be shooting, spamming your bullets really, really fast. And this is pretty much the majority of the ability that you're going to be using the most because you're going to be getting unlimited rounds. So if there's a lot of mobs. This is going to be your, like your mob clearing, uh, you know, ability that you're going to want to use just because you'll be able to take out enemies really fast. You have unlimited ammo. Now, in addition to that, after you use the ability once again, Redhead shoots double the number of rounds for a short time. So not only will you shoot m more unlimited bullets, but you will shoot double the rounds as well. So this momentum ability, what it does, it's going to allow you to perform a quick reload while hitting and shooting at the enemy. So you're going to be able to knock down the enemy like that. It's going to reload. After you're done reloading, you're going to want to go ham. All right, since we're in the momentum abilities, let's talk about the ones I pretty much use the most here. You're going to be, the one you're going to be using is this one. This is where you're going to be getting the majority of your damage from. Um, I do use mystical uh, rounds when I can. So this has a cooldown of seven, but I do use this quite often. Uh, we also go ahead and use the red hood, shoot multiple rounds straight ahead. This mostly for single targets, so I'm mostly using this one. I do place my turret every now and then, and if there's a lot of mobs that I want to clear really fast, I do tend to use this one. But overall, in general, the main one that we're using, guys, is this one right here, which is called Two-Fisted Rounds. Now, with that being said, guys, let's take a look at the gear and talk about what exactly is that we're trying to do here. So... As far as our suit, we're using the high ultimate suit. Now, there is a better suit that I'm going to be mentioning in the best suits you could possibly get per character. I'm just trying to get them, uh, which will be the best suit for him. But as of right now, I am using this high ultimate suit. Now, this particular suit is really, really good. The reason why I like the suit is because of the stuff that it actually comes with, which is this right here, guys, which is the ultimate shell. So what this is going to do, it's going to grant you health and it's going to increase your damage after you use your ultimate ability. So after you use your super, your ultimate ability, you're going to be able to not get, not only get health back, but you will also get your damage to increase. Now, I also have ultimate offensive, which is going to increase critical chance for a short duration and increase critical damage on the next hit after using your ultimate ability. Now, this is a really good suit, but unfortunately, I'm not spamming my ultimate ability constantly where I'm able to practice over and over and over again. So I do want a better suit. Of course, the better suit here would be anything that gives me crit chance by either killing an enemy or by shooting an enemy and there is a suit that actually does really really good with that it allows you to get crit uh, just pretty much get the crit chance every single time so if you're critting you're doing a lot of damage because this is what we're mainly doing here now in addition to that our melee is not really that important because we are not using melee that often uh, we still run it but i'm gonna show you guys what i have here but it is not really a mo mo that really really that important basically what this is going to do it's going to instantly grab momentum after knocking out an enemy so the reason why we like this one in particular is because remember when we're going to be using knockdown enemy to apply fear to the enemy applying fear gives us more damage and in addition to that since we're knocking them out it's going to get our momentum allowing us to use our momentum reload ability over and over so this is where the synergy comes in play with this particular melee option since we're knocking down enemies we're getting our momentum now once again we have momentum uh, knocked out momentum which is knocking out an enemy with momentum ability increases momentum build up for a short period of time so once again you guys are seeing the synergy here that since we are applying momentum we are going to be uh, getting that momentum back. And then we have effect, effective offense. Knocking out enemies increases elemental uh, effect. That one's not that important. The two ones on the top are the ones that are really benefiting the most. I wish that I could probably have something with crit chance in the uh, third one. But I currently, I don't have that at, at the right now. Now, the one that really is going to be important, it's our range one. Because this is where we're getting the majority of our crit damage. And also our crit chance. Now... 
for this one in particular guys we're gonna go to details right here and on this one guys we have two legendary mods which are gonna increase our critical damage so that's allowing us to do a ton of damage here and we have a heroic one that's giving us crit chance and crit damage now i could theoretically get this higher if i had another one with 43 this would go up to like 140 even 150 so i could think the max you could go is like 160 something so right now i'm a little bit short on crit damage but you guys see just with this, I'm one shotting everything. So imagine what the other one would do. Uh, then uh, this one has increased momentum generation for a short duration when hitting an enemy. So this is really, really good because it's allowing us to get our abilities back when we're hitting people. Now, this is the same reason why I wish that my suit actually had the one that when you shoot someone, you get a crit chance because that would be perfect synergy with this one. We also have hate maker vengeance, knocking out an enemy with a heavy melee attack grant cheese that the next attack will be a critical hit this one it only procs very limited doesn't proc very often because i'm not hitting that much so this could definitely be have a better mod in here or a better weapon but overall in general i think these are working pretty good so far because the main thing we're doing here is we're trying to keep our ability here which is our two-fisted reload pretty much proccing indefinitely and that is what makes this build very very powerful now with that being said guys let's talk a bit a little bit about tips on how to play this build now the one thing about this build guys is that you're pretty much going to be fighting from the distance and you want to be aiming and at first that might be sounding a little bit dumb like why would i want to this is like a sniper build guys it hits so hard um you want to be aiming because remember one of our, our abilities that we have within our skill tree is uh, giving you the ability to do four times the damage when we aim and one thing you want to make sure is that when you aim you let the circle close in you're going to notice that when you aim uh you, it does this little animation where the circle starts closing in and then it gets, gets completely full that's when you want to actually shoot when that gets pretty much full this is such a powerful build that you don't really need to go up close and fight the enemy you could fight from a distance now if you do decide to fight from up close and personal there is a combo that makes them really, really powerful, and that is the ability of being able to close the gap while shooting. So I, you're going to be able to, I think you shoot twice, and then you hard melee once. That's going to automatically leap you to the enemy, and then it's going to leap you to the next following enemy. So this combo works very well with him, and it just pretty much decimates the entire room. Usually, like the way I want to go into a room, if I'm playing, you know, there's a bunch of enemies, I will go with my ultimate ability if I have it, because once i do my ultimate ability that's automatically going to inflict fear on all the enemies i then go ahead and use my my two-fisted reload ability and that is going to let me clear the entire room or if i don't want to go in and personally just want to do emissions really really fast i could just clear them from the rooftops without a problem and there you guys have it that is the one shot red hood built now i will have builds for the following characters but let me know who should be next nightwing robin or batgirl let me know in the comment section down below i hope you guys are enjoying our content guys we have an amazing video out right now on how to farm legendary materials in addition to that i also have a how to farm god roll armor and gear so you're definitely not going to want to miss those videos if you guys are enjoying what we're doing here in the channel a like would be greatly appreciated and drop us a comment and don't forget to subscribe and turn on all your notifications if you want to go the extra mile and show us more love do consider becoming a member by hitting that join button down below shout out to all of you who who have decided to become members as well thank you guys for watching and i will catch you guys on the next video